natives are extremely important to people. They protect the coastlines, they create spaces for enormous numbers of fish and other animals to live in. They're amazingly diverse and they are the place that people come to see as tourists. I am a marine biologist and my specialization is coral reef biology. So we're going to show you everything we do with corals, both here in the lab and out there in the field. Come with us. drive boats so you have to get a special boating certification to do so and have some training before you can actually operate the boats. One of the common chores we have as marine biologists is to go out and check our survey sites. Today we're going to be snorkeling on some local reefs in Kaneohe Bay to double check that some of the corals we have in our maps are exactly where we think they are. we get to having water in tanks and corals in tanks, we start with a plan. Designing a space like this, I use a 3D modeling software to help me plan for the needs of the researcher. Each of these tanks that you see here is purpose-built for the specific types of corals we're working with, the larvae that they produce, and the experiments the researchers hope to conduct. here in the Gates Lab is really diverse and my role in that is to look at the early life history stages of corals. So we're going to put this baby coral on this microscope. I'm going to start scanning it with lasers and look at it on the computer. So this is the center of the polyp, this is the mouth where the coral can ingest food and all of these are the tentacles around the mouth. The skeleton of the coral which is all of this connecting tissue here and from this image we can tell that this coral is really very healthy. We could lose coral reefs in our lifetime. So come join us and be part of the solution. <laughs>